the hour, the director of national intelligence, Mr. James Clapper, in the hot seat for the mixed messages on the consulate attack in Libya. Lawmakers now sending off a letter to Mr. Clapper calling for an independent investigation. Joining us right now from Nashville, one of the senators who wrote that letter, Republican from Tennessee, Bob Corker. Senator, thank you very much for joining us live. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Good to have you. Yeah, I, I don't blame you for writing a letter. It, it seems <clears throat> pretty extraordinary that we had our ambassador and other Americans' lives uh, on the line over there at a time when apparently right now over there in Benghazi, it's too dangerous even to send a small army of FBI experts. Yeah, at a time when most Americans would want to rally around our country at the death of four Americans serving our country, uh, instead we've had this bizarre response, which only leads me to believe either, number one, there was gross negligence or incompetence involved, or this administration doesn't want uh, all of us to realize that Libya may now be a failed state if the FBI agents who are well-trained can't even make it into Benghazi. And when you look at that narrative, uh, with the backdrop of uh, in Afghanistan, we have Afghans that we are partnering with killing Americans. Uh, we have now Ara Iranians uh, flying in, the, in Iraqi airspace over Iraq to Syria to deliver arms. You have a situation where Iran now believes we're a nation in decline, and therefore they're going ahead with uranium enrichment. And you look at Russia, who apparently is waiting until after this uh, election to start talking about watering down our missile defense. Uh, this administration has weakened our nation tremendously uh, through the, the huge debts we've uh, run up over the last three or four years. And uh, the fact is, I don't know whether it's that narrative they're trying to stay away from sure. or there's something that's happened in Benghazi that they don't want us well, to know. Well, but it's just bizarre what has happened. Let's stay on that, Senator. You've been leading the charge for okay. information about what's going on in Benghazi. Are you going to call for an investigation, maybe uncover some <clears throat> emails of who knew what and when? Well, we've done three things. Senator Mint and myself have asked for that investigation. It was blocked, and so in a bipartisan way, the, the Foreign Relations Committee, everyone signed a letter asking for that. The problem is it's coming on November the 13th after the election is over. Since that time, Senator Isaacson and myself have asked for uh, just the cables. We want to know uh, the communication between Ambassador Stevens and what was happening at the State Department. None of that has been forthcoming, and if you listen to David Plouffe yesterday on Meet the Press, it's obvious that the administration is not being forthcoming. So I think it leads all of us to wonder what has happened here, right. because typically in these situations, people come out, they share what's happened, but in this case, the administration seems to be hiding something, and so it makes all of us wonder what has happened there on the ground. So again, sure. this is a situation where America should be rallying around and instead all of us have questions about why we had a filibuster, uh, right. you know, we had a yeah. security briefing where basically nothing was shared. So uh, it, it just causes all of us sure, to be Senator. puzzled about what the administration is doing. You know, it, uh, we had uh, Rudy Giuliani on this program uh, last week and we had L Lieutenant Colonel Alan West who's a member of Congress as well and they both said there's a cover-up going on. Yeah, I don't, again, it's hard to imagine what the cover-up could be about. I mean, here we had ambassador meeting with the Turkish ambassador there in Benghazi. He, he had met with local leaders. Uh, maybe there was something intelligence that was not shared with him. Maybe he was unaware that uh, his life was in danger, and yet the State Department knew that it was. I don't know what it is, but uh, if I were them, I would come on out and come clean. What's happening instead, as you see, is some of the major media outlets are leaking or laying out what happened during mm -hmm. that time to really keep the administration from having to come forth itself. But right. again, uh, it's a time when we ought to be coming together, and instead I think there's great division about what actually happened uh, in this incident. All right. All right. Let's leave we'll it there, Senator. Answers. Thank you, Senator Bob Corker. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next on the rundown, a warning for parents you probably haven't heard before, the U.S. about to face...